Hello folks, so, um, my main uh, thing I wanted to talk about this evening is a bit more thorough than my 8 second video, and I apologise about that, the reason being is that there wasn't much time to get it up, and, um, I actually almost forgot about it, literally only about 5 minutes to go. Now, the main thing I wanted to talk about was the, the things that have shifted, or surfaced, should I say, about um, the rumours of BidCon 2013 having an East and West option. Now, I've been thinking about this all day, and I've come to the overall conclusion that East and West is a bad idea. Here's my leveling up things. Now, obviously the perks of having it on the East Coast means that it's cheaper for most people in certain areas. You know, people from the UK can get there with ease, and such forth. Um, I know that in the past they've said that the justification for having it in the California area is because that's where most YouTubers are based. Now, I think it's more about the, the bigger YouTubers, and I think that in the end, a location shouldn't necessarily matter. Um, but, you know, that's definitely a good idea because I think, for me, um, the appeal of New York is there. But that was the only thing I could think of as a justification. Um, from what I read of the sort of the rumors and everything, the main what the main facts was that it was going to be that the survey was saying would you be interested in it in January and um, and other bits and whatnot. I mean, I don't know the full survey, but those were the key bits. But the biggest issue with having it um, in January is in a place like New York, it's one of the places that gets heavily snowed. Now, for me, that's not something I'd want to be stuck in a situation with where. I've seen videos of VidCon for the past few years. There's all been about energy. It's with the summer feel. It's the one event to look forward to, and that just and snow doesn't really give that feel. I mean, I think a lot of people would just be like, "I don't want to be in this." Um, the other issue is that it's so close to Christmas and New Year's. I think flights would be probably more, more expensive as well in comparison because you know people will be flying out to New York for New Year's and everything. The whole romantic experience. But I mean, also. Some people who have jobs may not be able to get it off. I know people who work in retail certainly wouldn't be able to get that sort of time off as well, um, where obviously it's a bit more manageable. Now, the biggest issue I think I have with this East and West thing is that, for me, I think it's more of a lazy compromise as opposed to, you know, trying something out. Now, if VidCon 2013 was hosted in New York, I think that's... You know, it's showing flexibility, it's saying that we're going to give it a try and try in another place. To have it saying we're having a VidCon East in New York and then having another one still in California is a bit of a lazy compromise where effectively people only get the choice of one or the other. Now, for me in some ways, I think that devalues the, the VidCon experience and this is my first one I'm going to this year in Anaheim, which I'm looking forward to. And... This is like the Super Bowl and WrestleMania and FA Cup and Champions League final of the YouTube calendar. And I think having two in one year devalues that. Not to mention, it gives people the harder choice of saying, oh, you know, like, initially you have the choice of, do I go to VidCon or not? But now you've got the harder choice of which one. And... People are going to be more swayed to go to a certain one or the other because maybe certain people will be there, certain friends. And I think in the end is that I don't know what the outcome of the survey is. I don't know the full general details, but I think if there's two VidCons next year, I think it's a lazy compromise. And effectively, they either need to go full out and host VidCon alone in New York or not do it at all. But I think that... I think having the flexibility of trying it in a different city adds to another excitement because the announcement of having it in another city would, you know, be basically adding another anticipation factor because the change of venue showed that there was going to be flexibility about trying to make things more accessible. And I think if they could at least test out with another city, then it would be great because I know people have tried out for... Uh, there was like a VidCon UK situation where in the end it didn't really come to fruition because of summer in the city, but... I think in the end, when it comes to VidCon, you either have to go for it and go for just one event in one location, but not two separate ones in the event. But what do you think, people? What do you think?